funny video, I mean not funny, actually it's actually funny to me that there's someone posted this, it's like someone finally saw the light. So this Australian blogger, fashionista, model, Asana O'Neill from Australia, drops a bomb on social media. I love the fact she's speaking her truth. She's revealing herself that, you know, it's all smoke and mirrors. It's all fluff. And she was basically putting it out there. She's doing this quitting social media because her 12 year old self basically said it's not real. It's all manufactured. And she felt fake and empty. I mean, when you're to that level, you're doing it for the gram, you're doing it for the snap, you're doing it for the likes. But she felt there was no purpose and meaning. I love social media. I love the fact you can leverage it and you can make use of it either good or bad. But once you're serving something else that's not for the not for like the greater good, people start flipping and realize that, dude, this is empty as shit. Now you go to clubs, you go to restaurants. It's cool to snap and Instagram, but girls are dancing by themselves and snapping by themselves. They're like, what the fuck are you doing? I mean, and they check and they check and they check how many likes, how many views. I mean, like, I get it. Quantify it, leverage it, but don't live it like it's your life. And you just want it more and more. It's like another hit. So those social media like addicts, similar to DJ AM, and he just wants another hit. Make sure you're doing it for your truth. Make sure you're taking that social media platform half a million, use it for good, help people. I mean, it's cool to post like your stuff, but I'm gonna be real. Half the people I know who's on social media, I consider unhappy. And these are the glitz and glamour celebrities because they do it for the gram. They're not fulfilled by themselves, so they expect to get value and validity of likes and grams and like Snapchats and comments. But when they see a little shitty comment, they're like, they're, they're, their day falls apart. I mean, there's reverse engineering happiness is like, maybe one day I'll get 1 million, maybe 10 million. But when they get shot down with one comment, they're fucked. So, you know, I'm, trying to, I'm not trying to knock social media. Again, it's, it's energy, it's a platform. You have power to the good. And she just said, basically, I salute to you, Elena, for speaking the truth. Because there's, there's a lot of fake shit out there that doesn't mean anything to me. And it's not doing any good. It's just a lot of hot air. Speaking of that kind of topic, Kate Winslet, actress, said, Hey, if, I, if you're going to use my celebrity likeness, no Photoshop, no like fucking up the, the lines. Because it's, it's a lot of girls. I get it. These companies are trying to manipulate girls to become bulimic and to become something they're not, which causes bullying, suicide, pushing Xanax. This is why I'm doing my job as a coach or trying to help people because they're programmed into some bullshit lie that's not real. So I salute Elena. I mean, we need more girls to stand up and speak their truth. Beauty is from the inside. I mean, I always say, fuck it. I don't care what you think. Maybe I found out earlier. And yeah, man, live your truth. That's more powerful than a like, a comment, or a share. And we need more women like that. And the fact that I may not have a half a million, I don't give a fuck. But if I can affect one person to speak their truth, live their bliss, help people, I'm doing my job. That's my purpose. So again, Elena, spread the word. I hope you take your platform, use it for good, and spread the women Let's spread the message to women and young girls like yourself that social media isn't about the ego. It's about communicating a message higher than yourself. And that's, that's all. I'm getting white hair. No, that's gel.
Okay, bye guys.